Hello YouTubers and welcome to the, my latest review. Today I have, <coughs> I have review is The Sixth Doctor as played by Colin Baker. In Trial of the Time Lords Part 9-12, to Terror of the Vervoids. So articulation. That's articulation. The detail, a fantastic likeness to Colin Baker. It's one, that's why it's my favourite figure of Wave 1. You know, he's not one of my favourite doctors, but he is good. Now, the coat, so it's basically just a re, the figure's just a repaint. On the head, the hair is light brown, as the, it's the same tone as Colin Baker's hair in Trial of the Time Wars, but the style is wrong. It's meant to be all over the place, but I'm glad they didn't because they can't do head sculpts with a £50 set. And that's what everyone was hoping not to see that head. So, the coat. So, you have all the colours you have yellow, red. So, now I'm going to review this coat with the original Colin Baker release. So, here we have both of them compared. And there's one of the new things that is the pink. This is a very dark pink, unlike the Attack of the Sunman release, which has very light pink. So, th this is a badge, the cat badge, and now it's a tiger, which is really good, and it's too small to see. The coat is different as well. So, if you look here, it's just a line going down and lines going across it. But with this one, it's lines going down, a line going down and two lines going across it. Same with the arm. It's two thin lines going down and two thin lines going across it. Unlike this one, it's two thick lines with two thin lines going across it. So, we're going on to the new costume. So you have the white, green, purple, no, not purple, pink and purple waistcoat with the green and pink chains. You have the yellow cravat, cravat which is yellow and white, green, pink and purple stars, which just like splodges, but I'd like to be amazed if someone could do that, but with some of the crap jobs that Cat Options do with some of their figures, like the k and is not the twin I am the Sixth Doctor, for example. So, now for the back of the coat. Let's just compare this one with this one. Let's just get this one to stand up. That's better. So, you have the back bit here, which is really good. You have the buttons on like the Peter Davison figure, which is really good. It's green on this one, but on this one, it's blue. So you have the pocket, the checkered pockets with the green outline, and the purple and... I don't know what colour. Purple, green and brown. But with this one, you have a blue outline, but you have white, purple and a turquoise colour. And the colour is light on this one, and the red, th with this one you have red, black and brown, and this one you have red, black and orangey brown. The red star on this stripe, it's just an all red on this one, but with this one, the red's darker. So I'm just reviewing both of the coats at the same time. So, if we take a look at this one, it's just a thick blue line going, ac going across with two black lines going across and not going down. But this one, it's all blue. All the lines are blue. So, the pink is really light on this one. Light enough to be light blue. So, the, the, there's a blank bit right bit here, but there's just four... 
four lines going across. So if you take a look at this bit here, it's green and ends off with pink. But this one, the, it goes all the way down to, to green. And the lapels are different. Take a look at this one. And look how different it is from this to this one. So the figure is the exact same as this one. I, mean, I could prefer, I prefer I corrected this one, but underneath the lapel, the collar, the shirt wasn't painted, so I painted it. The skull on the cravat is the same as this one. The cravat on this one is the same skull as this one. This one's like a darkest colour. Dark greyish with black stripes. Now it's been changed to multicolour. And gold chains, and it's been changed to green and pink. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, really good detail on the coat with the collar and the trousers. Yeah, the question marks. And you have. The shoes are the same. This bit, the red band here, and it goes underneath the feet. So there you go. I've now just reviewed both Colin Baker figures. So, I highly recommend getting any of these figures. They're both really good, really good likeness of Colin Baker. So, thanks for watching YouTube, and I'll see you next time in my next review, which will be the 8th Doctor, Paul McGann, the first time we ever see a figure of him.